You played this character, Joey, and it's just because of the show is rerun, it was, it was such a massive hit, it was on for so long, and now it's in reruns all around the world. People, you know, they really like this character. You're lucky that you're playing such a likable guy, you know? Yeah, I guess it's nicer than playing the killer all the time, people being afraid yeah. of it, you know? It's right, like, no, yeah, if you, but you could have been playing like a very unlikable person, but you played this guy that everybody connected to right away, and does that happen to you wherever you go? Just, pe you know, people are happy to see you? <laughs> yes, I bring love and joy. <laughs> <you know. laughs> no, it's, it's funny because um, I think with the, the amount of reruns that uh, Friends goes through, there's a whole new generation that's discovering the show now. And right. like young people will come up to me now and say, oh yeah, you're Joey on Friends, that's great. Wow, you're so old. <laughs> <laughs> really? I find myself using words like scram and beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, yeah. you punk. <laughs> <laughs> they wonder like, why you don't look exactly yeah. the same, like your oh, hair's your a little hair. different. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a thing called the passage of time, kid. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but, tell me, like, uh, you know, we lived through it because we were on the same network back in those days, and Friends was such a sensation. Uh, it was, it was kind of like a pop culture, you know, happening. That Friends was so popular. Was At the craziest, what was it like? Can you tell us, like, a, you know, like I don't know, a, a, a story about just how insane it got when you knew things were getting out of hand? Um, there's a lot of them. I remember one time that sticks out though was uh, I was out to dinner with Schwimmer. And this must have been like season two, I think. Mm -hmm. right. We're at this place over by the Beverly Center. This, I'm not really a fancy place or anything. And this woman sees David and she has an infant with her. And she runs over to David and literally throws the baby <laughs> at David. And not like to check and see that he caught the child. Just like throws and she's digging for her camera. Hello, hello. <laughs> digging for her camera as the baby's in mid-flight. <laughs> the baby's like, yeah! Yeah, exactly. So, thank God Schwimmer can catch. Yeah, that was and, good. Uh, that must have been disturbing. Yeah, she didn't notice me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was little, I was like, yes. I can catch too, so I'll do something. <laughs> that was the disturbing part. Yeah. Now, uh, you have, how old's your daughter? She's eight now. She's eight, and, and she, uh, she does Joey's catchphrase, she learned it, or she d does a catchphrase yeah, to you? Yeah, she, well, she does her version of it, yeah. She says, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> and she won't say it, because that's the way I said it on the show, it's not really the correct way to say it. You right, mean, right. How are you doing? Right, right. And so that's how she says it, and she, I say, that's, no, that's not how you say it. She say, yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's, it's, that's not right, yes, it is. And she just, every now and then, we'll, So you two we'll argue worry. about that. Yeah. That's, that's just great. Yeah. That's my catchphrase, right. that's not how you do Daddy it. Daddy knows how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what TV do you find yourself watching these days? Like, what, what do you enjoy watching? Um, of the stuff that's new, that's on now. Yeah, you know, I spoke about this before, this uh, Finding Bigfoot. The show about uh, <laughs> this, has anyone seen it? Yeah, these crazy guys that run around in the woods at night trying to find Bigfoot, uh -huh. and, and maybe they got canceled because I can't even find Finding Bigfoot. <laughs> so I'm not really watching. The anything. show itself is now lost in the woods. Yeah. Yeah, he's so elusive. They're sending a search party out for the show. <laughs> well, no, wait. This is a show where they really are trying to find Bigfoot. And what draws you to this show? What, what is it about this show? You know. <laughs> Probably because it's so stupid. I'm, 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 it's, uh, that may explain why you're here too. <laughs> no, no, this show is this show is great. This is quite no, different. no, no. I, we've got yeah, some more thing going. I wouldn't go on Finding Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't go on Finding Bigfoot, <laughs> no, but you like to watch it. But yeah. are you a believer? Do you believe Bigfoot's out there somewhere? You know, I like to. Uh, there's this part of me that would love to believe that this big hairy dude is running around <laughs> in the northwestern United States just like looking for, you know, trash or whatever he's doing. <laughs> eating out of the dumpster, I don't know what he's in doing. In the noble pursuit of trash. <laughs> I love that. I love that yeah. he's, I also think like, all these myths about a creature that no one can, you know, I think in the era of cell phones and everybody's got a recording device, do you right. know what I mean? And pretty much land is developed everywhere. It's harder and harder for me to think that Bigfoot exists unless he's driving around in a car, you know? Exactly. And lives in like a very populated area, like in Cleveland, you know? <laughs> right. But I guess they discover new species all the time, every year, like about 10 new species around the world. Are, that's true, they do that. You, they're mostly like, you know, amoebas. It's, and yeah, it's like a little amoeba. Stuff that's easy or to hide. a slightly different monkey, you know? Like, yeah. It's, right. it's not like, oh yeah, that's seven foot eight. You know? <laughs> <laughs> It's a monkey with a slightly different kind of eyebrow. Right, right, right.